Uh, I'm Michael McGinnis, a senior scholar here at the National Academy of Sciences, the Institute of Medicine, uh, and uh, work uh, uh, here trying to advance uh, our contributions to building a continuous learning health system. Our major focus uh, has been on the possible. Uh, we think that the notion of continuous generation uh, of new knowledge and continuous and seamless application of the knowledge that's generated is indeed uh, possible. Uh, there are a number of, uh, uh, of uh, improvements that have to occur if uh, we're going to achieve that vision. And our focus here is on uh, essentially on uh, three domains, uh, on the science or evidence development domain, on the systems improvement uh, or improving the value of healthcare uh, domain, and on culture. Because ultimately, culture, patient culture, clinician culture, organization culture uh, are essential uh, to move toward continuous uh, learning health system. Uh, the notion of a continuous learning system is, uh, I think, uh, inevitable. Uh, it's not doesn't come without uh, barriers, uh, no question about that. Uh, but we are, for the first time in history, uh, poised uh, to move uh, toward uh, a healthcare enterprise, uh, which is not just an art, uh, but has a continuous scientific improvement dimension uh, that will do a great deal uh, for. Uh, the health of people everywhere. Um, the, uh, I think the, if you look at the most important issues that are ahead, uh, they relate to the democratization of healthcare, because learning can't be a guild process in which just a few organizations or a few professions are involved, but it has to be the province of everybody. Each of us as patients has a real stake uh, in the improvement of our care, of our family's care, and of uh, society's care. And with mobile, with, uh, uh, mobile health, uh, and with uh, off-site uh, care, and with people much more aware of what they can do for their own health prospects, it's clear that care is going to move more and more outside the clinic doors. Uh, and until people uh, become full partners, uh, in that care process, in that continuous learning process, so that the care experience is not totally wasted as a learning opportunity, but uh, as it is now, but in uh, but becomes a seamless part of a continuous learning opportunity. Uh, uh, that prospect uh, is going to change things substantially, but it's an area that needs to be improved because right now, uh, for the uh, most part, patients don't feel that their part. Uh, ironically, they're not part of the care uh, delivery uh, organization and improvement process.